If you're looking at your CPM on your YouTube channel and you think that that's the amount of money you make per thousand views, then you're actually completely wrong. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a brand new metric here on YouTube that's gonna show you exactly how much you make per thousand views on your videos. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Okay guys, so as I just said, a lot of people are using CPM to measure how much money they are making per thousand views and that's not really accurate to use. CPM stands for cost per mill, and this is the amount of money that advertisers pay to have ads on your videos. And this actually doesn't include all the revenue you make from all your viewers and all your videos, because not every viewer will get an ad on your videos. There are a lot of factors that come into play when YouTube decides which viewers get an ad or not, like which country people are from, um, if they pay for YouTube premium or not, or if they got a lot of ads in a previous video, then they might not see an ad on your video. CPM also doesn't take into account YouTube's cut of the revenue. YouTube takes 45% of the ad revenue and CPM doesn't count that. And it also doesn't take into account other monetization features here on YouTube, like super chat and channel memberships and so on. So if you want a better idea of how much you make per thousand views on your videos, then you need to take a look at YouTube's brand new metric called RPM, which stands for revenue per mill. This actually does take into account other alternative monetization features like channel memberships, stickers, super chats, and so on. And not only that, but the RPM number is also after YouTube has taken their cut of everything, after potential copyright holders or MCNs and stuff like that has taken their cut. RPM also includes all of the views on your channel, even those that are monetized. So it's a much more accurate measurement of how much you make per thousand views than CPM was. Now the RPM doesn't include everything though, because it still doesn't include the revenue that you make from your merch shelf. So if you're selling clothes through Teespring, that's not included. It also doesn't include the money that you're making from brand deals, or if you're selling online courses or anything outside of YouTube, then that's not included either. It only takes into account all of the revenue that you're making directly on the YouTube platform from YouTube's own monetization features. Except for the merch shelf, of course, that's still not included, but um, maybe they will in the future. Now, this isn't to say that the CPM isn't a valuable metric anymore, because it certainly is, just not for the things that we used to use it for. CPM can still be used to measure how valuable your content is to advertisers. In other words, how much are advertisers willing to spend on ads per thousand views on your videos? So the higher this number is, the more valuable your audience and your content is to advertisers. And this is a very good thing to understand. It's just not a good way to measure how much you're making per thousand views. That is what RPM is for. Okay, so now that you know how the RPM works, let's go find it in YouTube. So we are inside my YouTube studio right now, and I'm gonna click on analytics. Then I'll go to revenue, and then my RPM is right here. You can also find it on individual videos if you go to videos, and then click on a video right here on analytics. And then you go to revenue, and then you'll have the RPM right here. It hasn't loaded yet for this video, but it's gonna show up right here. Okay, so now if you wanna learn more about YouTube, then make sure you watch the videos over here. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.